What's going on, people? Ash out here. It's a quick video, man. So what I want to talk about right now and speak about right now and what I want to talk about right now is uh, these 360 deals that artists continue to sign in, 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 in the music industry. Why are people signing a multiple rights deal? Meaning the record company has the legal right by law to receive a portion of all your income streams. So in other words, when you sign a 360 deal, the record company by law can enforce the right to get money from anywhere you make money. So if you get a clothing line deal, you star in a movie, anywhere you're getting money, they're going to get money. Why? Record labels aren't in the don't do tours. Live Nation do tours, right? So why is a record label getting a, per a, a percentage of your touring revenue? They get a percentage of your publishing. Well, they, didn't write, they, they didn't write the song or make the song. Why are they getting a, a percentage of your publishing? Oh, you got a deal, but you got a, a clothing line deal with Puma. Oh, okay. And then and Puma want to give you some upfront money. Well, your record label is going to get a piece of that too. And any year, and it goes on and on and on. And all they gave you was a loan. A loan means they're loaning you money to get that money back with money on top. They never lose anything. They play ze the zero risk game. Just like all investment bankers, they want no risk, only reward. Let me tell you this, record labels. Your little Ponzi scheme is going to come to an end, God willing, because you can't take advantage of people forever. You can't use your economic strength over poor people forever. Because poor people, like myself, we have resources. We have the resource now. All we got to do is put the intellectuals to it and the, and the knowledge is free. So all we got to do is make the great, go in the studio, make great work, learn how to market, promote, and advertise, and distribute our music ourselves, and we won't need you no more. So stop signing to these 360 deals. Stop letting, stop letting another human being that treats you like a dog in the street own you 360. Nah, how about you tell them to go away 360? How about that? You 360 that forward slash you ain't getting no publishing. So I'm just tired of record labels, man. I'm tired of artists. All these major artists still signing deals. I don't understand why they keep going back to the label. They always complain about the label. I see people on social media complaining about labels. You work for them. When you sign a deal with a label, you are signing a work for hire contract. You are signing a work for hire agreement, meaning the record label is hiring you to work for them. Sony Music is hiring you to work for them. Universal Music Group is hiring you to work for them. <laughs> Warner Music Warner Media is hiring you. So, for example, Cardi B, she is hired by Warner. She's hired by them. Um, she's hired by Warner, which owns Atlantic Records. Uh, Tupac Shakur was hired by Warner. Um, Time Warner, which is the same label. Um, okay? And Tupac and Cardi B both worked for that corporation. Okay? Do you understand? They work for them. That's why they don't get paid. And the thing about a work-for-hire contract, they don't give you no salary. There's no salary. You know, you go through your normal. And a work for hire contract is a, is an employment contract. A record deal is the same thing. It's an employment contract between an employer and employee. The only difference is that the employer doesn't offer you any any salary or anything or any benefits or anything. They treat this employment contract like it's a business agreement between two between two entities. But it's not a business agreement because you've. A, I'm working for you and you haven't bought a stake in my business. So how is it a business agreement? That's what I'm saying. Don't sign 360 deals, man. Just don't sign them. Sign it now. DIY. Do it yourself. Do, 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 do it yourself. So at the university, um, one of the main things um, I'm noticing with a lot of independent artists, with a lot of artists, uh, the problem they're still facing is the problem of exposure of getting exposure for their music and getting their music out there um the problem of getting heard and the problem of still not being able to be seen and um so at the university um one of the courses that we do focus on is, is promotion and um teaching artists how to promote themselves 
um, more, more effectively and and more importantly helping an artist understand what promotion what promotion actually is from from a theory standpoint and so um that's one of the main goals here is to teach it so you understand what it is and then once you understand what promotion actually is you can go out there and then promote your music and promote your art or promote your business or brand much better because you actually understand what promotion actually is and promotion comes in many shapes and many forms and through many vehicles and through many channels and one of the channels promotion comes through is advertising uh, another channel is social media uh, another channel is television another channel is magazines another channel is radio another place to promote yourself is posters by putting up a you know, put a poster on a wall or a billboard up or through mail through email or through text and these are all different ways um companies and brands and and and, and businesses uh, market promote advertise um their products and services to uh, consumers and customers and at this university uh, i want to teach the independent artist or the independent brand or the or the small yeah, to business. help independent artists promote their music you know to help independent artists uh, promote their music like a professional you know the same way a record label would promote your music um, this university is going to teach you to do the same thing going to teach you how to do a marketing plan if you need one how to do a business plan if you need one and the main the main goal was to help you solve your problems so yeah